Hi, this tutorial is about wheels and axles. Follow me step by step as I show you an easy way to draw wheels and axles onto a simple bot. After that, you'll be able to design and draw your own bots or vehicles in 3D. First, we'll draw axles, wheels, then attach anything that you can imagine. If you're using this sheet, the starting point looks like a bird's foot. Slide the splat down onto the starting point, and then from this blip, Trace around two lines, then the center, and from that blip down and around. Great, so that's five lines. Put the splat on the end of that line, right there, and draw in two more edges. Cool, now for the far two edges, we're going to rotate the splat. And we're lining up these two marks on the drawing with these two corners on the splat. So let's go ahead and carefully line those up, and when they're matching, draw in your far two edges. And that's the cube complete, well done. Time to draw our first axle. Look at the front view. You can see the axle drawn here with these two lines. But on our 3D view, we draw them on an angle. So we extend a light line along that edge, and at the back, imagine extending that line through the point. That's the angle for the back axle. So just a light line. Now let's measure off one centimeter or half an inch from each of those corners. One more, and the very back axle is hidden behind the cube. So just three axles poking out. Now let's thicken those axles. So we copy a second line right beside it a full circle and a half circle. And on the very back one, let's do the same thing. Let's copy that line down a little bit. Let's name some of the components that we've looked at so far. Here's the axle. And then we have the rim, which holds the tire. So the tire is usually the rubber part and the rim is often steel or alloy. The whole assembly is called a wheel. Here's the body of the vehicle or bot, and the strong part underneath it that usually holds the axles um, is called the chassis. So the body is usually attached onto the chassis. Now it's time to draw the wheels onto the axles. Try to keep the splat straight up and down as we draw the wheels. Here's an exercise. Looking at the side of the page, holding a pencil beside the splat, try to move the splat around the page, keeping the pencil straight up and down. Then we're good to go. Find this point on your drawing. Slide the splat over and make sure that point is right in the center of the ellipse. There's two plastic bumps on the top and bottom of the ellipse. We're going to draw half an ellipse. Find the point at the front of the axle, and then center the ellipse on that point. Remember the splat straight up and down, and then draw the full ellipse in. Great. Join the two ellipses together with a short line. There's one. And using any edge of the splat, just draw that short line in. Nice. And we're going to repeat the exact same procedure from the back. Remember we drew half an ellipse from the back of the axle. Then at the front of the axle, we drew the full ellipse in. Next, we drew two short lines to connect the ellipses. Find this point on the far side. Center the ellipse. This time, we're starting off with a full ellipse. Well, almost some of it is hidden behind the cube. You can draw it in if you like using a dash line, which is called a hidden detail line. Now find the outside of the axle, and we're drawing just half the ellipse. Finally, connect the part that you can see of those lines. There's our wheels. Now the wheels are drawn. Some of you may want to erase the lines that are hidden, like the axles and part of the cube. So now would be a good time to erase those. And it's a lot of work because I'm having to redraw them here. But I think it'll be worth it in the end. It's much easier to make your first drawing using really light lines, right? Okay. 
and I'm going to draw a chassis on the bottom. So I'm going down a bit further. Here's the end of the axles as you'd see them in the wheels. Now um, I'm rounding off the corners. I'm coming down, say a centimeter or half an inch, and I'm adding a bit of design detail here. Let's add some sensors, which could look like eyes. And then I'm going to darken in my cutting line or the very outside line. Usually don't darken all of the lines in, mostly just the cutting line and the outside of the wheels. What about some audio sensors? This bot may need somewhere to plug it in to a power source. And uh, we could draw that little hatch open if we wanted to. There's a power socket. Some lights to show the charge level. This line is where the rim and tire meet. So we're just going to go halfway between the end of the axle and draw that in. So we're just um, hand drawing or free handing that in. Draw it lightly first and then darken in. So there's my very light line and then darken in. We could draw the inside of the wheel as well. Let's finish our front view. Remember we came down a centimeter or half inch and we drew that detail that had the eyes as well. From the side view, you'll also see it. Notice I'm using the ruler to make sure it's at the same level. I'm also going to see some other sensors from the side, as well as the little hatch for the charging. Here's how it could look if it was plugged in and charging. So there's the basic bot. Now let's uh, try to imagine some changes. What about mud guards? Um, if I need some larger ellipses, here's a trick. Spin it over to the back and by leaning your pencil over, you can get a slightly larger ellipse. And that's how I'm drawing the mud guards on the top of each of the wheels. Here's a tip if you're coloring in your tires black. Leave a highlight. So this shape I'm drawing in, I'm going to not put the black pencil in there. And on the bottom, just under that ellipse, I leave another highlight. I'm using a texture here just to speed it up for you. I would use a black pencil because the texture tends to soak into this uh, photocopier paper and bleed a little bit. So black pencil would be better. And on the side view, same thing, use a pencil. With this texture, I'm um, trying to get a little neater by using a circle guide. Your teacher may have one of those that you can borrow. On the front view, we see a front view of the wheel, so that whole wheel is colored in, but the other wheel is sectioned or cut in half. Now it's time to render the bot. Just like we left a highlight on the wheels, you could choose to leave some highlights here and there as well. I'm using a ruler to tidy up my cutting line around the outside of the cube. Number one on top is my very light value. And I'm going to use the ruler to add a little reflection right there, fade it off. Or I could add a highlight by using the eraser through the top. On the other two sides, I'm making them as dark as my pencil will go, and that would be called a number three value. So one is light, two and three is a bit darker. I'm leaving also a thin highlight on the corners of the cube that are coming towards me. Now that you've drawn the basic bot, you have the skills to literally draw hundreds of designs just by using some small changes. The place to begin is with the purpose or what your bot is intended to do. What's its function? Once you've figured that out, the design should come up pretty easily for you. Consider subscribing to our channel if you're not already a member and hit that like button. Thanks so much for joining in. It was fun. I'm Glennie D. See you next time.